So it kind of feels like these didn't get as much promotion as the white pair did. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the sneaker circle. It's your boy Danny back with another review. And in today's video, we are doing the New Balance and Kith 1906Rs. Now these are a pretty standard pair of New Balances. They're gaining a lot of traction right now, kind of replacing the hype from 550s and from 2002Rs. In my opinion, they're kind of matching the Keanu energy. So people who usually like Keanu's or like 1130s for ASICs, they like these 1906s for New Balance. So in front of us today, we do have the black and green colorway of the Kith pack. So I do have two main points I wanna talk about when it comes to this sneaker, but I'll go over sizing and I'll go over all these other issues or details about the sneaker itself, as well as construction and all these other things. So let me get these out the box and let's get straight into it. Okay, so out the box in front of us, I initially thought this pair was black. So I'm, I'm gonna straight up say, I thought the collection was kind of white and kind of black. And I did see a lot of people on the Twitter spaces and on Facebook marketplaces saying, Kith kind of ripped off Ama Manier because last year they did the Air Jordan 5s, which were kind of white, kind of black with those cream accents or those aged accents that Ama Manier does, but that's not the case. So these are entirely green upper. It has hints of black, so it's like a dark forest green, but I did not get that at all. And I guess this comes to my first point. I feel like the promotion and the pictures that were done on this pair specifically was almost non-existent. So all the pairs really focused on that women's colorway or the pair that released at the women's store. I don't know if both pairs released because again, they just highlighted the white pair. So the white pair in question is this pair right here. This is that really nice. And I initially wanted this pair. I wanted to go for them. I wanted both because I don't have a pair of 1906s. So I kind of wanted the pack to just set and compare and really like throw them into the rotation. But this pair did come from early access. This size was not sold out, but in the white pair it was. Those flew within minutes or seconds even. I feel like people already knew the link and knew the time it was dropping and it just happened. Getting further along, let's talk a little bit about the details when it comes to the shoe. So looking at the shoe, we do have an all green base with a black sole, a lot of gold accents. So I really like that. Red right here. And again, Initially, I'm gonna try to show it as best as I can, but in person, this shoe is a forest green. But in most of the promotional materials, it just, I guess the Kith filters really had them looking black with hints of green. So I initially thought the whole inside of the shoe was green from those Kith shots and the outside was a, was a black, but that's just not the case. It's, it's forest throughout and I actually really like it. So if you're a fan of like Gucci colorways, cause Gucci is usually that green with that red, and other colors as well, black and white sometimes. You really get that feel when it comes to the sneaker. So I'm kind of I'm kind of happy I went for these. So looking at the shoe, you do have a mud guard right here at the very tip of the toe. It kind of squares the shoe off. I usually like it a little more rounded, but again, this is the first time I've had this model in my collection and I'm not mad at it. You have the 1906R right here on the side. You have this N. Now there are other models that kind of do this where features like this lace right here. It's not the same laces that are here, but this material goes through right here. So it's like all just one piece. Uh, and it does serve as the lace loops for two levels. Right here you have the N, I'll try to get as close as possible. Right here you do have the N, and I really like this like spaced out mesh on the toe that, well basically the whole body, not just the toe. You do have some hints of leather, so you have some leather on the stripings. So right here on the interior and it wraps around, but then it's all accented by this gold right here. So it's kind of hard to tell if it's like a good leather or not. And the places that you can kind of touch it, it doesn't feel bad. I do think this like plastic molded heel cup right here is really interesting. When you throw these on feet, it feels actually pretty snug. So I would say stick to your true to size, whatever New Balance size is most comfortable for you. If you're someone who only wears like 550s, those are more like a dunk, but I think you could play it off wearing that same size in these. Even though I, I feel like 550s give you a little more like wiggle room and space. So the sole is an energy sole. It's actually pretty nice. It's all black. I mean, you can't really be mad at that. These are like for everyday rain shoes. Now the lacing that comes with it is also pretty interesting. So you got the standard, again, a really deep green. It's not fully black. So it's not the same type of green as here, 
but it is still a green. But then you do have that deep green again, but it's not like a perfect match. I guess this is where the issue with the, where those kit filters came in, but just letting us know that it was a green would have been nice. And they kind of did in the release details, they did label these green black, but still, I, I, I wasn't expecting this, a forest green shoe. On the laces themselves, you do have the other option that's kind of similar to the ones on the end right here, where it has those red stripes going throughout. I'm not the biggest fan of those. I usually like these solid color ones. Another little detail about the sole that I haven't seen in other pairs right here, this stability brand right there. Maybe it's on the new repairs, but I just haven't been buying enough to actually like see it for myself. And again, this is my first pair of 1906, anything. So when it comes to this, I guess, collection, collaboration, because it's a two pack series, they're supposed to go hand in hand. These really did get the short end of the stick. They got almost no love resell on them basically doesn't exist. They sat for a little while in the early access. People were really gunning for that white pair and I don't blame them. That pair is beautiful. But again, that pair was really highlighted in all the promotional shoots and all the photo shoots that Kith did for the women's release in New York. I think it was for like a store opening or something like that, but I already touched on it a little when it comes to sizing, but I have already thrown these on. Um, if you used to 2002 R's, if you're used to 550s, if you're used to 990s, 990s fit a little bit looser on the toe, like airy on the front. But I do say stick to whatever size you're comfortable with in New Balance. Don't be sizing down, don't be sizing up. These are incredibly comfortable, but they are an active shoe. So like last week, no, a couple weeks ago, I did the 2002 Jounce, that collaboration. I would think, I would say they fit exactly like these. So these did retail for $170. I think normal 1906s retail for like 160, 150. Pretty spot on when it comes to a Kith collaboration. These are made in Vietnam. I don't think I showed the tongue too much. So I use this as a time to show and as a time to show the back. You know, after tax and shipping, it was like $190 for me. So it was still kind of under, cause if you think of New Balance and when you think of made in America New Balances, that's usually 200 plus. So like I have a pair of Amini Leon Dora 991s, the, the all leather pair, the one that came in tan and gray, they were cost me $300. So the fact that this, that's almost double what this shoe costs, and I kind of like the wearability of this shoe a little bit more, gives it a nice little placing in, in my heart, you know? Is this gonna be on the top list of like sneakers of the year for me personally? Probably not. I do think there are just better shoes out there. Like I kind of like the Jown 2002 R's a little bit better than these, but I still think they're a pretty solid choice, pretty solid shoe. If you're looking for a pair, maybe you can get one off a reseller for under retail. Cause again, I don't think they're doing well. I don't think people are gonna make a profit on these. So give it a month, give it a month and a half. Maybe people are just gonna take the loss on it. Maybe they just wanted the kith points or maybe they got them discounted and they're not taking a loss and you still get them under retail. Whatever the case may be, these are fire. If you like green, if you like this model, definitely add them to the collection. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope I didn't chat too hard about this. I'll catch you in the next one. Please enjoy the unfeet.